this is your podcast girl, Mary Agnes. For today, we will talk about life as an only child for our first episode of the podcast of Mary Agnes. Many will definitely love being the only child of their parents. You will live your life all the things that is only for you. For me personally, I can relate to this one for I am an only child. I don't have a sibling and I grew up in a broken family. I only have my mother but unfortunately, she's not with me physically. My mother is working outside the province of Bohol. She's basically in Manila, working hard for give me a better life and giving me allowances because I'm still studying as well. But what makes me sad is that I miss him so much yet I don't have anyone to talk about it. I don't have siblings and that sucks. Life as an only child is never just Oh, you get everything you had, like, you can buy everything you want. Your mother can give you everything that you wanted because there's no one who will have that, oh, you have your siblings, so you must share this. Oh, let's have your siblings first to fit this dress or whatever. But talking about real life, you only have, need someone to, to lean on, to talk someone about, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I want to get rid of this life because I have no one else to talk about. Like, he or she can understand me because we live in the same roof. We live in the same life. We have the same family as well. But anyways, another thing about living as an only child is that Aside from you don't have anyone to lean on when you have problems. You don't have a sister or a brother. Your life is miserable. Because there's no one for you to, to fight. To cheer you up. To tell you that life's great. Life is good. Life is just life as it is. However... It's funny because before when I was young, I was like, oh, I like being an only child. I got everything I wanted. But when I grew up, I was like, oh, no, no. I don't like to be this one because I cannot, I don't have anything to, to say. Like, I'm tired. I'm going to say it to my mother. But my mom was like, oh, dear. Oh, what can we do? But when my friends would tell me, oh, I tell my sister about how tired I am at school and it just she just gave me a cheerful word or an advice or like oh that's fine I'm still proud of you I uh, I definitely hear it with my mom but I just wanted to have someone like who understands my feeling because she has also been gone through with the things that I've been on or I've been living I've been in process or I've been experiencing. I came to the conclusion that I just want everyone to know, or even my mom, that I don't want material things. I want full attention. Growing up that you seek for attention to everyone because you don't feel that ever since. You live your life forcibly feeding yourself to the family that isn't yours. You're in Viva, you just give it yourself. I also want everyone to know to let us stop this stereotype that living as an only child is always great and beautiful. There are times we want a sibling or we want siblings to go crazy and cry for no reason. We don't want materials. Most of us, we want attention, love, and care.
this is your podcast girl Mary Agnes saying yes I am an only child no I'm not spoiled thank you and see you loves on my next podcast episode